As you can see here, we've got the van made up and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a 1959 split screen and I've gone for the traditional colours in blue and the beige. I've popped a free sheet, if I just bring that into shot here for you, on the web. And I've gone for a slightly darker blue. There's two on there. There's the darker and the lighter. You have a choice there of which one you like. I rather like the blue. I sampled those from the vans. Um, printers and everything, variations, but you can have a little bit of a choice there. Okay, so we make this up and I think it looks absolutely stunning. That's the die there. And I'm just going to flip this over and just show you the back of it because what I've done is used my tape method. Now this keeps everything into position and I think it's great because you can now place this down wherever you want it to go on your card. So let's just imagine it's going on there. You've got the choice of putting it wherever you want to go. Now you can, if you want to, make it up in the traditional way straight onto your card wherever it is that you want it to go. That will just more or less be the same as we're doing here but instead of sticking bits on the back um, you'll just position everything from the front. Now you can choose either method to work on but I'm going to show you this way because it more or less I, I think it, it's a great way of, of working but there we go. Okay so paper down here, die close to the edge and long ways where possible. If you want to hold it into position with a little bit of tape and then just run that through the machine. So I'm going to just pop that through my machine then we'll come back and have a look at it. Okay that's now gone through and I'm, on my particular machine there's a nice loud cracking noise. It's a big die but don't let that put you off especially if you're new to crafting. Honestly everything's fine. Um, I'm going to turn this over now and just show you here because what I want to do is keep some of the parts in. Now it's the die is designed in a certain way, it's going to split and hold certain colours. I want to keep this part and the badge on the front. So I'm going to pop that on with a bit of tape and I'm hoping that will hold it all into position. It doesn't always work, so I've still also got to try and get this out of the die. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. Now, um, various parts on here and you'll notice that it came in the packet with a little colour diagram showing you the actual VW and where all the parts went to. We're going to keep this part here and here and then this is going to now become blue. So I'll bring that back into shot there for you. That's going to become blue. Then we're going to pop silver in, etc. Now we're going to keep parts in as we cut. But for the first part here, we just need the badge to stay so that when it comes up, it's in relief. Now I, I think it's rather nice to work the same with the chrome strip so I'm just going to hold that into position to here, that side because the blue needs to be able to release and I'll just slice that. Incidentally I've cut this on 250 GSM card. There we go, right. Now we are going to keep this part and we're going to keep the parts that were within the bumper but though we are going to have to, to cut it. So it wouldn't be a bad thing at this stage to just engineer some little strips of masking tape. I can't guarantee it's always going to work like this. I'm kind of, I'm not cheating, but I'm just hoping it will stay in place. If not, I just have to paper piece it back in. It's no hardship, but I just thought I'd show you this. And then another little bit over here. So it's just to try and keep it in, in if we can. Okay, I'm going to pop that over. Just release the die here, like so. There we go. Now, those bits have stayed in. Those I know are that part there. So we can, if we want to, just help it on its way a little bit just to release. There we go. Like so. That's just going there. But just help it on its way and just pull it out like so. That went pretty well. I'm just going to pull that little bit into there like so and the bumper here, the little bits, they might, I just carefully tease that, might come off. There we go. And just pop that into position there. So our next task now is just to get this part out. And I'll show you, you can see here, they're just held in 
And what we need to do is just lightly snip down just to bring that out. There we go. And then we'll do the same on the other side. I release the body first, and then I'll show you how we deal with the bumper. Just start off in there and just pop it in. There we go. That comes away. Just place that to one side for the moment. And you can see now the little curves for the bumper. I'm just going to do that there. And there's a little one here. You'll just have to freehand that. Just like so. It's no right or wrong. Again, that one there. We just pop a blade in there. Just like so. And again to there. And because we've got the tape underneath, that's all now held in position as well. And we're going to build up on this with some silver and black as well. So you can see now we've got that held in, two parts on the bumper. And we've got a few other little bits to snip in. Now we're going to keep that one on there. So, same technique, I'm just going to pull this line here over to there. And same again, just the lower one. And pull that out of the way like that. And there we go. That's our VW coming together. So the next stage is just to now have a look at the blue. And all I'm going to do is run that through across the die. A strip of blue across there to give me that. And I'm going to run it in sideways like that. And just pop it in my sandwich and run that through the machine. That's now come out of the machine and I'm just going to place it down like so, because we don't want any bits to drop out that we don't want to. Twizzle that around. And we know all the top parts waste here and all of that is, we're really only interested in that part there. But we would like to hold the lights into position if we can. So, a little bit of tape and just run that in be a little bit more accurate with this. I'm trying to stop it going where it doesn't need to. Again, I think it's probably better just to cut a strip like so and just run that it's probably a, run that along there like that just to hold it into position don't need that bit there so if I'm careful I can just cut that without cutting the card that can come away okay just get rid of that bit there because we don't need it and I'm a little bit messy here let me just cut a bit there and we'll pop that bit over the light try not to go over twice if I can Rub it down, this may come out, and you could hold all the bits if you want to and hold them into position, but it really is up to you. Um, it's now just really a case of just releasing this all. We know it's all going to come out. I'm going to just try, just give it a little tap first. You know, but it normally just releases a little bit easier, but I don't want, I'm trying to counterintuitively keep the bits in. There we go. That's all waste there, so I'll just a tap and look, they'll all come flying out. Flip it over, and I have unfortunately lost all of those. So, they didn't stick, it was worth a try, but it's in position ready now. Now, what we'll do, I'll just show you here, is that everything's in reverse. So, if that has happened to you, look, the, those bits have stayed in. I should have just put a little bit more pressure. Um, I'm just going to pokey hole those out one at a time. There. And I'll do the other one because I know that's for that bit there. There we go. And that's the opposite side, so that one will go here. And if it does come out, the thinner part is towards the inside and if I can see that on there's a slightly thinner ring and 
there's no real right or wrong with that one and that just drops back into position there so I'll go on and do the same for the other side it just means that we can then build up on top with our silver to get our lovely lights everything's now back in position so again I'm just going to snip down to there pull that out slightly there and snip to there and I've now got this part here Move that out now the yellow part comes to there so again we'll just snip like so, round to there, and snip on the lower bit there. And that's ready to attach to the first part that we've done here, like so. That will just come up and just join in there. Now we're going to take that from the back again. So at this point, everything's pretty much in position. I'm just going to flip it over like so and just pull it up ready into position there get my tape ready a little bit here what we want to do is get everything nice and tight in there hold it into position that looks good to me one there we are going to put the silver trim where this joins so it's not mission critical that it's perfect, but it's as nice as you can get it. Now, see that's coming away at the edges there. Well, again, it's not that critical because we will be sticking it down, but it's rather nice just to make sure everything's where it should be. So I'm going to pop the tape on. Now look, obviously, if you're sticking this down onto your card, uh, it, it is quicker. This method does take a little bit longer, but it does give you that versatility of being able to move it around. OK, that's really coming together nicely now. So the next part of this is to pop our bumper in on the base there. Just flip this over now. Get a little bit of tape ready to pop it into position. Just get that on the ready, as it were. Hold that down. And you'll, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You, you'll feel it just lock into position. And when you're happy with that, again, I pull it slightly closer to keep that gap down. And pop it in there. That's pretty good. A little bit of tension on that because I put pressure on it. You see that fits perfectly now. We can, if you want to, put another bumper on top, so it's just got a little bit of perspective, but I find once you've put the rubber and the silver on, that, that does the work for you. What we're trying to produce is a lovely van here with minimum effort. Move that to one side, back to our die here, give that a whack and we'll get all the bits out in a moment. Next thing to do is to do the black. We need black for the windows here and for the tyres and for the bumper bits there. So. I'm just going to put a piece of black card over the whole thing and just run it through the machine and then keep the bits in and just pop them out as I need them. There we go. Now that's ready. All the bits are in there. This is really thick. I must admit, this is a 300 GSM. I'm just going to pull that away there. Try not to lose too many bits along the way. And one of the tyres has come off, but that's fine. The rest is just nestling in there. There we go. It's all dropping out and I'll need the bumper part there as well. So I'm going to carefully remove that. But first of all, what we'll do is work with the tyres and then the back of the van here. So as ever, I'm just going to flip this over now. Just move the die out of the way. Clear the desk. And then come back to the die here. Remember, we're going to pull the bits out, so it's this part here. Now, you can use your pokey tool. I have this habit of just putting my scalpel in like this and just lifting it out like so. This is really thick card, so I know I'm safe, but that's probably not a good working practice. But most of the time, this all just drops out. Now, this is, I say, this is about 300 GSM card, this black. It's really, really thick, but it does the job. And to be honest, that's all I had. So in all crafting situations, we tend to make do with what we've got. Use the straight edge of the tape here. That just pops in. So it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Quite good fun. Just 
snip a bit of that out there, like so. In fact, the bit I've just cut off can be used to hold it here. Remember, this is all going to be glued down flat, so it's only about holding it into position. Now I popped that out, whoops, with this, get rid of the bits there, with the scalpel last time, I'll just show you here. I can just use my pokey tool to release everything, it'll just drop out for you nice and easily. And again, that just slots in there and a little bit of tape to hold it into position, like so. Okay, so tire time. The wheels, there's a curve and we want them to sit flat. Now I sometimes use my, my board here and they line up just a little bit beyond. There's a slight mark on the side of the wheel. On the, there, there's an embossing line. It's hard to see from the reverse and they just sit like that. What you want them to do is make sure that they're square. If I move this one over to here, you'll see it's at a funny angle. That's definitely not good for a wheel. That's how you know you've got the right ones in the right place. They're not lined up with the edge. They're just in slightly near enough. It's pretty well good enough. A little bit of tape. Pop it on and off you go. Another method I'll just show you here is to pop your tape on there roughly into position. You can flip it over and you can bring the tire in and do it this way if you like. Just kind of line it up where you think it is. Just match it with the other one. You'll feel there's a sort of a natural part to it. It just comes in a fraction and then you can just hold it into position with your tape there. And there we go. Those are our two tyres on the front. Now there's two back tyres, they're two tiny little bits because it's in perspective. You don't necessarily have to put those in um, and they sit here and here or on the die. If I show you on the die, let's bring that into shot, it's there and there. So those are the two bits of the back tyre. They're smaller because they're in perspective and equally a little bit fiddly. Now I'll pop those there. This would be one of those jobs that I would say, look, you can put tape on it because I've done it on this one here. You can see them in position. When it's glued up, you could pop them on afterwards. And that's what I'd probably suggest because, sorry, let's bring those up into shot. They are just so, so tiny, but it's those little features and they'll just sit about three or four mil away from the other tyres there, like that. So, in all honesty, pop the tape on if you want, or carefully put them to one side, do it later. That's my recommendation. And I will do that now, knowing that I may well lose them. <laughs> okay, so, it's all coming together. Now we've got our windows that fit in here and here on the side. You can put those on as dark parts, which I've done there, or you can just leave it with the cut line, or even come in with a bit of light blue if you wanted to, but if I can again show you another technique that I use, and we're getting back to gluing now, we're pretty well much past the, the sticky tape stage, everything's going to now happen and begin to happen here actually on the van itself. So uh, just bring this in, You'll, I don't know if you can see, it's very dark, but again it's just a case of just popping one into there and one into there just to liberate it. And because I'm now working front on, it will sit in there like so. Now it is actually the right size, but we want a little slither there. So what I'm going to do is just move that to one part there and just glue that and pop it in. I'll zoom in and show you what I'm going to do. So I've popped my glue on, that's drying a little bit. So I want to come back. That would normally fit in exactly there. So we're just going to move it slightly out and we're just going to create this little line here, if I can just show you, like so. There we go. And that creates the illusion of the window and then a little bit of the door there. And repeat that for the other side. 
The next stage now is to create all the chrome parts. So I'm going to run a piece of silver mirror board from the top here down to get my mirrors and my windscreen wipers. So that will go over there and I'll just run that as ever through my machine. Let's go that away through. Whatever all the bits are going to stay in, um, it, we could tap it, but we want basically the badge, we want all the trim there, the mirrors, and this here. So I'm going to do the VW badge first, and I'll just pop that through, get the outer edge. There we go. And what we're trying to do is avoid losing too many pieces. Now a little bit of glue, and I can again either glue onto here or onto the back of the actual piece itself. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue onto there to hold it. But we're not gluing the other bits in between. It's choice. You could have glued it that way, it really is up to you, and that just slots in. You can see now why we kept the other bit underneath. That sounds proud. That looks absolutely lovely. So I go on. I was going to do one half here. I'll do the lights and then show you the bumper and a mirror and then a windscreen wiper. And you're just going to reverse that and do the same for the other side. So remember everything on here, it's back to front. So I'm going to go from this side here and stick it onto that side there. So again, if I just pokey hole everything, the pokey tool should all drop out and it has and in true style I'm going to just glue all of this bit because I find that easier and I can just drop everything into it then. So a few bits of glue around there, I'm going to need some for there and I might as well pop a little bit of glue onto there as well. I know it's a bit noisy, I just stabbed it with my blade, but that's how I like to pick things up. Line it up there, and then the lamp will just fit in and drop in there, like so. Same again now for here. That goes on there. Now what goes in there is a little piece of orange, and I'll need to cut that. So I'm just going to let that dry, and I'll come back, and I've got a little bit of orange card. That will drop in there, so we'll... <clears throat> Not to worry too much about the glue there. Um, we've got some wing mirrors and I think they're all down here. Again, I'll just give everything a little bit of a poke. My pokey tool, it's got a bent end to it. I need to sort that out. It's making life tricky. There we go. Loads of bits off here. So again, the mirror's going to go on this part here. You can see there's a little square edge there, so I just pop the glue onto there. Pick that up there, and that's just simply going to glue now and hold into position there. Like so, looking lovely. And then we have a windscreen wiper. That's still in position there, so I'll just pop that out go the other bits <coughs> got to be careful as I'm putting it down everything's dropping out it's not going to go far so it's not too bad I just like to uh, try and keep everything where I know where it is okay I always find I lose the silvery bit oh. <laughs> come on you pesky thing now these windscreen wipers I'm going to fight that in a second but you notice that they, they're at this angle now I thought Oh, that looks quite dynamic. But looking at the camper vans, they do seem to stay quite upright. Um, and I, I had one years ago. I can't even ever remember. It never even crossed my mind that I'm sort of peering through windscreen wipers. But here we go. It does appear to be like that's how they are. But you can research a little bit of glue on there. I'm keeping the middle bit a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to rest in. It almost lines up. That's a good starting point. It's going to come and line there, run across, and just touch the side of the screen there. So a little bit of glue holds that into position. 
got some on there that will just wipe off afterwards. And there we go. Whoops. That's our windscreen wiper in position. And the other one goes in the same direction over there. That's the driver's side. You can just see the seat there. So we've now come to the bumper. So I just need to release that. I'm going to use this part here with the pokey tool. Just show you here, just pull the whole thing out like so. Get rid of some of the wispy bits like that. And then pop a little bit of glue and I'm going to put the whole thing down here like so. And that just lines up with the end of the bumper there. I could come over a little bit. I've put too much pressure on already. A little bit of wiggle room with the glue. And there we go. And then the black part is the part of the bumper. And I come back. Is this one in here? And again, you can see that just needs a little bit of the snip. So I'm going to go snip there. Snip there. Pull that out there. And that part goes in there and that goes on top of the chrome. So I'll just put a few dots of glue on there. Because we're sticking it onto the chrome, the chrome, the silver marie board, it'll take a little bit longer to dry. It will slide around. You've got a bit more wiggle room, so just be a bit careful. And there we go, that's that half done. And I'm just going to now repeat the same procedure for the other side. Last but not least, I'm going to come back and just drop in the two orange bits to pop in there as well. So we'll come back and have a look at this a little bit later on. So this is all coming together. It's just about ready. All I've got are the orange bits to go in there. So what I'm going to do, just put that out of the way, just bring my board in here and I'll show you. I'm going to cut in reverse <laughs> with my plate. I'm going to drop the orange on top there like that like that because I don't really want to use tape because I find that gets stuck on onto the die and just nest it into position like so and I'll just cut those and a little bit of glue back in there just to hold it into position pick those up and they'll just drop in like so and that is almost the last thing we need to do but there's one more thing to remind you of let's just pop that in there there we go just give a second let it glue there we have our lovely vw beetle and here is the finished vw camper van all done and ready to stick down onto the card in position i've got my little back wheels just resting there everything else is done bumpers back on now um Nice and simple to make. I know these tutorials ramble a little bit. Apologise, that's me. Um, but it is much quicker in real life when you're not chatting too much. But I, you've got the essence of it. So there's two ways of doing this. As I said, we could either glue everything straight down, which is a quicker method, but you are committed. And if you know where it's going, fantastic. Or we can use the one I've shown you here, which is just basically the same, but we fiddle a little bit about with the tape at the back. Though I like this because I just feel I've got control over it. Again, it really is up to you. Both methods work absolutely fine. And um, have fun with it. It really isn't uh, too difficult to do. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, that's done. And do you know what? I've just realised I've missed out one last bit to show you there, which is the uh, silver part here. So, so with the silver part here, we just nip those two little bits left and right. I sometimes pull it apart like this and it's not too difficult. Then we're ready to glue. Again I'm just going to drop a few little dots on here and pop that in. It's the final bit closer to the edges just to hold it in. And that will just Nestle slightly into position there, and that's held together. And there we go. And there is our camper van done and complete with everything in. I've just rested the little tyres in there. So two methods of making it. The one which we've explored here with all the bits of tape on are rather like this because it gives you the opportunity to move it and put it wherever you want. Or you could work 
straight down onto the card. If you know exactly where you want it to go, then you can just glue everything into position. That method is quicker, but I wanted to show you this one because I tend to work this way because <laughs> commitment issues. I don't quite know where I'm going to put it sometimes on the card or I just want to keep it for a later date. OK, either way, it is nice and straightforward to do all the bits slot in beautifully. Um, have fun with it. It's a, it's a great little uh, die to work with and it's quite enjoyable making up the camper van. I hope this tutorial has shown you how simple and easy it is to make your own lovely camper caravan.